in this quick video guide I want to show you how you can download a free alternative to AutoCAD or other CAD application which is called QCAD. Now we simply search for QCAD on Google and click on QCAD right here. And you can see here we have all the information. This is a open source CAD system and it's, it's looking really neat and simple so anyone can use it. For example, if you are not a professional, you would just want to use it, you can use it uh, not without any problem. So you have the QCAD 2D CAD and the QCAD CAM, which is, uh, let's say, the 3D version. But in this video, we're going to focus our attention on the QCAD 2D. Now, you can have the free open source version here by clicking on this link, or you can go directly in the download page now, how does it work? Basically, you have to install the trial. So you can click, for example, in your version 64-bit installer. You can click here and download it. OK, so let's leave this to download and let's open when it ends. Or you can open it also from the download folder. So basically, here you have the various links for Windows, Mac, OS and Linux, so you can download the QCAD Professional, and this is gonna let you use the full version for 15 minutes at a time. And then you can either buy the QCAD Professional from the online shop and download the full version, or you can choose to remove the trial and use the reduced free QCAD community edition. So you have two options. You have the professional edition and the community edition. And the second one is totally free. So you can decide after you tested which one do you need. Okay, now it's asking me to go forward. This will be the installation, really easy, really quick. And then let's leave it to install. Now let's proceed here to the shop so we can see that actually it's not so expensive here so it's only 33 euros at the moment and it will last for one year of updates but then i think you can keep it this is a single user license and you can also check other in dollars or other currency okay so you can check here if you're interested now the software has been installed so i will double click and this is gonna be the welcome panel where I can select my language. So first start, I can select English or any other language. I can also define the units, inches, millimeters, whatever you need. And you can also, of course, set, do these settings later in the project. You can also choose a default size here. And if you want to use the comma or the dot for the decimal separation and also background color, if, you're, if you want white, like for example, Revit Beam, or you want black, like standard AutoCAD. Okay, and then we can start. There you go. So you can see again, the interface looks nice and neat. And it's, it looks pretty similar to AutoCAD, we have the grid here and the origin. We have all the drawing tools on the left. We can start, for example, with simple lines and right click to exit. And we have a lot of menus right here to create and edit in 2D or 2D drawings. So this will be all for this video. This is just an introduction, of course, but I hope you enjoy it. And if you like it, please support us in the channel, subscribe if you can join, and also write your comments, which could be questions, could be suggestions, and also anything that can be helpful to other users. Now, if you give us your support, we will also create other video guides and perhaps an entire video course on this open source QCAD application. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.